For this example, we're going to multiply the square root of 2 plus 5 times the square root of 3 plus 2. Now, to multiply these, we have to use distributive property. So first, we have to do the square root of 2 times the square root of 3. And we have to multiply the insides. So 2 times 3 is 6. So we have the square root of 6 plus, now we're going to do the square root of 2 times 2. And because this 2 is not inside of a radical, we're not going to multiply these together. Instead, we're just going to make this 2 square root of 2. Just write them next to each other. Now we're going to do 5 times the square root of 3. Same thing here. There's no radical on this 5. So we're just going to write this as 5 square root of 3. Now we're going to do 5 times 2, and 5 times 2 is 10. Now we want to simplify anything if we can. So I'm just going to look at each one of these. The square root of 6 can't be simplified because the only prime numbers in 6 are 3 and 2. So that's just going to say it's the square root of 6. Um, same thing here. The square root of 2 cannot be simplified. And there's no like terms either. Same thing with this one. And obviously plus 10 can't be simplified. So it doesn't look like any of these can be added together as like terms or simplified on their own. So that means that this is our final answer.